It was just another relaxing Wednesday at the Pemi River Campground for these recent graduates of Alvern High School. But the campground owner says they have extra people working today preparing for that potential flash flooding. If we see that we're going to get more than four inches of water, we take all the campers that have camped along the river, we take them off the river and move them up to a higher, four or five feet higher elevation. Jerry Warren has owned the campground for 20 years and says even if the rain is concentrated, as long as there is less than four inches of rain, they should be all right. State officials say they're not concerned about any particular river, but we'll be keeping an eye on all of them. In Rumney, it's the Baker River that would be likely to flood. So if the river comes up high enough, we move out all the, camp uh, the picnic tables, and if there's any campers that are close to the river, we get them up to high ground. Just down the river, it's hard to imagine that the Baker would overflow its banks, but it has flooded Riverbrook Campground just this past December. I don't want flash flooding. I mean, I've been in some of the floodings down there. I mean, not bad. I mean, we were down there during Ian in South Carolina, and it came up to the back of the camper and everything. But I mean, other than that, we haven't. I don't want to deal with it again. Thornton's fire chief says that they've been checking their equipment, making sure it's good to go just in case it's needed. Now, uh, you can monitor the weather on our mobile app and also sign up for alerts in case the weather becomes a concern in your area. Reporting live in Thornton, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.